Hello beautiful people. Welcome to the iOSPORN YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Bose Soundbar 500 to your Windows laptop using Bluetooth connectivity. The second connectivity we're going to look at is a fiber optic as well. Very simple, very easy. So, first things first, download and install the Bose Music app on your mobile device. If you're using an Android or Apple, doesn't matter, it's available on both your stores. Log in, sign up, and as soon as you get a tick mark that your soundbar is connected, you are good to go. Please be patient. Sometimes there could be a firmware upgrade, which could possibly take 15 to 20 minutes to complete. So do not panic. Once you're all good, up and running, click on settings and go to sharing. In here, make sure that you are sharing your soundbar on your home network. Now, you got to go on my laptop. Right click the Bluetooth icon and add a new Bluetooth device. Please make sure your soundbar is powered on and be patient. It's going to be available here. This is the first time I'm connecting my soundbar to my Windows laptop. So it's trying to do a search. It's going to find my soundbar and then we're going to pair it up. There you go. Pair it up. This operation could take two to five minutes. So relax. It is going to happen. Once it's paired up, what you got to do is you got to set your default audio device on your laptop to the soundbar. So go to control panel. and open up your sound settings. Now change your default device to the Bose Soundbar 500. There you go. Once done, click OK, you're all set. Now let's move on to our second method of using a fiber optic cable. Take the plugs off. I just ordered this cable from Amazon. Any standard fiber optic cable would do for this type of connectivity. So one end goes at the back of your Bose soundbar. So yep, goes in there. Perfect. Now, the second end goes at the back of your TV. Most of the new age TVs, they've got a fiber optic uh, connector at the back. And the output uh, connector is what we use. There you go. The, the red light, what you see, is actually the fiber optic uh, port. So, plug the other end in here. Okay, now we gotta go to your TV settings. So grab your TV remote, go into your sound settings and go to speaker settings. Okay, and you gotta change your output from TV speakers to audio out. So audio out is used for optical cable connectivity. As soon as you're done here, our job is done. So whatever the TV is going to play, doesn't matter from the TV inbuilt app or from your laptop, the sound output is always going to go from the fiber optic onto your Bose soundbar. That's all guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Cheers.